Hi there, I'm Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. Welcome to Builders. Today we're going to explore color in WordPress block themes. We'll cover the basics to color, how to register them in a theme, as well as gradients, duotone filters, and style variations. Let's get started. WordPress offers a convenient feature within ThemeJSON that enables the customization of color elements, including the palette, gradients, and duotone filters. By utilizing this functionality, builders can allow users to effortlessly adjust the visual appearance of their website. We'll go through each of these settings. Custom. This setting determines whether or not custom colors are available to be used within the site editor. This can be enabled by setting it to true or disabled by setting it to false. Custom Duotone. This setting determines whether or not custom duotone filters are available to be used in the site editor. Again, setting to true enables it, setting to false disables it. Custom gradients. This setting determines whether or not custom gradients are available to be used within the site editor. Again, true to enable, false to disable. Default duotone. This setting determines whether or not the default WordPress core duotone filters are available for builders in the site editor. True to enable, false to disable. Default gradients. This setting determines whether or not the default WordPress core gradients are available to be used within the site editor. True to enable, false to disable. Lastly is the default palette. WordPress core supplies several colors as a default palette, setting this to true enables those, setting it to default disables those. We'll go through each of these now in the back end to see what exactly these settings allow. Okay, we are in the back end now of WordPress and I'm gonna walk through what each of those six components allow people to do. Uh, we are in a paragraph block and uh, for starters, there are two sets of categorizations here on color, default color. Uh, so the theme registers five colors. This is frost and we're using the purple variation. And so you can see that uh, the base and contrast colors are here as are the primary and secondary. Those two colors change depending on the variation. And then there's a gray neutral color. You'll also see that the default color palettes, this is the WordPress core colors uh, that are offered are also available. Again, those can be disabled by turning them to off. So as you can see, we can change the color of the text using our theme colors. And obviously there's a, a built-in contrast accessibility note that if you're using colors that are too light based on the background color, that uh, a note pops up and tells you that. So uh, again, these are WordPress core colors and uh, those can be enabled and disabled. Now, going to the background, uh, you'll see also the theme colors show up as do the default colors. Uh, but up here, there's a gradient tab, which kind of kicks in the gradient options. And so the theme, the frost theme, uh, registers one default gradient from primary to contrast. And I'll uh, click that. You can see what happens uh, in the spirit of accessibility. Let's uh, change that to white. We can see here that it's using the default frost uh, background. WordPress ships its own set of default gradients, which can be used. Uh, again, some accessibility issues might kick in, but uh, you can see the gradients here. And uh, also the setting for uh, custom gradients uh, can be used where you can go in and uh, using the color picker, setting your own gradients as well as the, the type. If you want to go radial, you can go radial, you can do linear, you can change the angle uh, as well. And then lastly, I will show you the duotone filters. Here is a color image. And uh, if you click the image and see the little triangle apply duotone filter here, uh, these first three are uh, registered by the frost theme. We've got uh, black to white, we've got primary in white, and then we've got the secondary in white. So if you select the black on white, it basically just turns the, uh, the, fill, uh, the, the image black and white. We can change that if we wanted to do something a little bit different. And this is the third uh, frost one. And then below that, you can see our, a number of other, uh, these are the WordPress core um, duotone filters that are provided. Uh, can be disabled by setting them to false in theme JSON. Uh, but just to give an example of what these 
filters do. Uh, and again, the uh, ability to turn on custom filters also allows you to kind of pick and choose however you want uh, things to be uh, not necessarily optimal for people uh, who may not know how to use these. Uh, but again, for those who do, this can all be enabled. And if uh, at the end of the day, you wanna just clear things out, there's a clear thing here to set the, um, the image back. And so same here, we will uh, just go back here and sort of reset everything back to the way it was. All right, let's take a quick look at the code that's involved to register color palettes within ThemeJSON. Uh, implementing a color palette in a block theme is a pretty straightforward process. The Frost theme uh, defines five custom colors, base, contrast, primary, secondary, and neutral. But for brevity's sake, here's an example of how we're gonna register three colors in ThemeJSON. As you can see, there's the uh, setting for color, name, and slug. Color, obviously, the hex code, name is the name as it appears when you hover over it uh, in the editor. And then slug is what's used to uh, generate the CSS variable, which can be used in various places in ThemeJSON and also the style sheet. Similarly, let's take a look and see how gradients are defined within ThemeJSON. Color gradients are a design technique that are smoothly transitions from one color to another, often go at an angle, and they're commonly used in design elements such as backgrounds, images, and so on. In the case we have here, uh, we've got a gradient and that is uh, defined here. You can see the linear gradient, zero degrees. This is the CSS variable for the primary color. Uh, and as we scroll over, then it goes into the contrast color. Uh, so in the case of the background you're seeing here on the slide, you can see it goes from the primary purple to the contrast color of black. And we also give it a name and a slug that can also be used uh, throughout for the CSS variable. Now let's take a look at a gradient in action. Here we have a paragraph inside of a group block with the gradient background applied to it. In addition to that, uh, let's take a look and see which blocks have support for gradients. Uh, there's a long list of them. Uh, the list is growing as WordPress evolves, and pretty much any block that exists has some emblem of background that can be set. To round out our colors, we have duotone filters. Again, these are the filters that are applied over the top of an image. And similar to setting colors and gradients, you can see here inside of theme JSON, uh, each duotone filter comes with a name, a slug, and the colors that are used to define that filter. Very straightforward, name is black and white. In this case, the slug is black and white, hyphenated, and the colors go from 000, which is pure black, to FFF, uh, also pure white. Last but not least, we have style variations. Style variations have emerged as a fresh perspective that enriches global styles, fully amplifying the capabilities of full site editing and block themes. Style variations typically are comprised of individual theme JSON files that are uniquely named and placed inside of the styles directory of a theme. The most recent update to Frost includes eight distinct and eye-catching variations. I will show you those here in just a second. They're blue, graphite, green, magenta, orange, purple, red, and teal. Here's an example of what those look like. And then I will also walk through how style variations are turned on in the dashboard. When you're in the back end of the WordPress dashboard, you can access the site editor by way of appearance. I currently have the Gutenberg 16.0 plugin active. And so what we'll see here is a styles link in the sidebar. And as you can see right now, we have the purple uh, style variation active on this demo site. And as you click through, this is the default blue. Here's graphite, green, magenta, orange, again, the purple, red, and then teal. All you need to do is just toggle through each of those to activate it. From a code perspective, here's a demonstration of what a individual style variation looks like. Uh, I have named this one purple.json. This is the one found in Frost. And inside of a style variation, you put um, the settings and controls of things you want different from the parent theme. So in this case, the only things that we're doing differently from the default Frost theme JSON file 
is changing the color of the duo tone as well as the primary and secondary colors that are found in the palette. And that concludes this exploration of color in WordPress block themes. Again, we went through how to set up and establish colors, gradients, duotone filters, and style variations. Uh, I'm a fan of color. I believe it's a magic ingredient that can bring a website to life. It also helps set the mood and defines the user experience. Uh, if you're a user of WordPress and the Frost theme, uh, and you're a freelancer or an agency, there are several options uh, with color that we're offering and we're glad to continue to do that. Uh, remember the world of website design. It is a uh, colorful and exciting place. And with WordPress, uh, you're always just a few clicks away from creating something extraordinary and awesome. Happy building.